More trouble for Suresh Kalmadi, a Delhi court uh, has uh, pronounced its order on framing of charges against the former Commonwealth Games Organizing Committee Chairman Suresh Kalmadi. Let's go across to Rhythm Bhardwaj who is joining us with more details. Rhythm. That's right. Uh, in fact, uh, Tamanna, it's going to be seen as a big break uh, blow for Suresh Kalmadi and CWG, other accused. The Delhi court has today framed charges against him and 10 others in the graft-related scam. They've been charged under criminal conspiracy sections of the IPC. They've been charged for cheating on section 420. They've been charged for forgery, section 468, 471 of the Indian Penal Code. They've also been charged under section 13 of the Prevention of Corruption Act. The formal framing of charges will be taking place on the 10th of Jan. But uh, just to give a, a you know a background to the to our viewers who are really joining in today, this is going to be seen as a huge blow because these charges have been pronounced in that case in which when he was Commonwealth Games Organizing Committee Chairman Suresh Kalmadi and 10 others had been involved in giving a contract to a company at an inflated rate that had caused a loss to the exchequer. The CBI had in fact charged cheated them for illegally awarding a contract at an inflated rate. Today what has happened is after a huge hearing in this case since 2010, the court has finally framed charges against Suresh Kalmadi and the other accused. This also includes Secretary General Lalit Bhanot, as well as 10 other people, they've been charged, cheated under various provisions. Now those charges have been framed by the court. The formal hearing and the formal framing of charges, which is a technical issue, will happen, a legal technical issue, will happen on the 10th of Jan. But what's really breaking today is that they've been charged for criminal conspiracy sections under Section 120B. They've been charged for cheating under Section 420. They've been charged for forgery under Section 468 and 471 of the IPC and the Prevention of Corruption Act.